Item number SCP-200-JP, Object Class Safe, Special Containment Procedures. SCP-200-JP is to be contained in a low-risk item storage vault with a desiccant. SCP-200-JP is to be kept dry outside of testing conditions as it is activated by moisture. To prevent the accidental occurrence due to mistakes such as forgetting to wipe, Personnel are encouraged to pick up SCP-200-JP up with fingers when they transport it. Description SCP-200-JP is a typical rubber duck toy. While it emits a short or long sound when squeezed, the length of sound seems to not be related to the manner how it was handled. Its manufacturer and production factory were identified and concluded to be non-anomalous. No similar object has been found from the production line of said factory. SCP-200-JP activates whenever it is exposed to water. If there is a human within a 10 cm radius and 5 meters below during the active state, SCP-200-JP rapidly increases its weight. An experiment involving a D-Class has proved that the weight increase of SCP-200-JP continues as long as a human exists under it. SCP-200-JP increases its weight to 420 kilograms within 3 seconds and returned to its original weight shortly after the resulting death of the D-Class. Based on this, it is theorized that SCP-200-JP is not responsive to dead bodies. SCP-200-JP was recovered from a bathroom of a municipal housing complex located in the city of Beep. The owner claimed he found the object on the riverside, as the owner's purpose was damaged due to SCP-200-JP. The owner and his guardians were amnesticized. The false memories about a falling accident at the bathroom was implanted. Addendum. Initially, this anomaly was supposed to be classified as an anomalous item. However, it was eventually designated as a safe class object after test 89417 was carried out. Test Log 89417. 20 Beep. Subject of a Duck. Note. Subsequently designated as SCP-200-JP. Method. Squeeze the duck 200 times to determine if there is any regularity in the length of sounds. Result. A fixed regularity was found. The combination of short sounds and long sounds can be interpreted as a text based on the Waboon Morse code. The detected message is as follows. My child is still under the water. Analysis. This item may be sentient, or at least possess some kind of information. Hereby, I withdraw the proposal about the classification to anomalous item, and request to re-examine the circumstances of retrieval. Re-examination by the Foundation failed to obtain any new information about the discovery of SCP-200-JP, as all involved persons were already amnesticized.